My name is Jake, welcome to the channel. As I've mentioned these last couple of weeks, my wife and I were currently in the process of moving up to Utah, so things are a little bit chaotic for us. I wanted to make sure to record some videos in advance so that I didn't go weeks and weeks without you know, uploading to YouTube. I wanna talk about knowing your why for pursuing FIRE, financial independence to retire early. If you watched my video a couple of weeks ago on a new chapter, you know that my wife and I, we just recently reached Barista FIRE. So what that means is, is that we're going to be living off of our investments, our portfolio, while still working part-time. And so it's not a full-fledged fat fire where we completely stop working and doing not do nothing, but rather it's more you know, of an emphasis on financial independence. The retire early part is a little bit optional. It's not something that, you know, for us right now, it's we, we have to work because we have that gap in income, as I mentioned in that other video. But for us, really the emphasis is on financial independence. And I think you're gonna notice a trend in this video as I talk a little bit more about my experience with this, that the emphasis has always been on financial independence for for me. And I, I didn't really realize it until just recently as, you know, these last couple of months I've been thinking about, you know, our whole experience of pursuing fire. And I want to talk about that with you in, in today's video. And I want to share a personal story. And I want to also talk about how you can find your own why and some things that you can kind of consider. Now, I'm going to be very honest. When I first started, you know, learning about the fire movement, it was motivated because I was in a really stressful career. Like you've heard me say this, if you follow the channel, you've heard me say this many times. I was in I was in a sales career where I was in a very high turnover environment. You would work with people and people would quit or get let go on a regular basis. And so it was very, you know, there was a high amount of churn. And so you always I always had that added pressure and stress. It's like, okay, well, what if I'm next or what if something outside of my control, you know, my control happens and I were to lose my job? you know, kind of what happened this year, right? And so um, for me, you know, pursuing fire was always about kind of that security that if something were to happen outside of my control, that, you know, I would have that that backup, right? That we wouldn't have to, you know, sell our house or lose our house like, in, you, know, you know, a lot of people did in the financial crisis of 08 and 09. That was always really kind of a big stressor for me. And so from the very, very beginning, it was really about that safety net of if something happens that we have that safety net. You know, and if you were to ask me in my early 20s, what does early retirement look like? It probably would have looked entirely different. It probably would have looked a little like this. <music> Oh my gosh. I, I want to touch on a couple of things here. So first off, I want to share a personal story. Um, so I guess really to reemphasize my personal situation, for me, it was about that safety net, but it really came down to creating FU money. Now, once you learn about FU money, it opens your eyes to a whole new world of how to view the world. It's, you know, it's a really, really incredible thing that, you know, having FU money gives you options and flexibility. It gives you choices. And that's really what was so important to me is building up that FU money should something happen outside of my control. Many years ago, when I first started down this fire path and was watching and consuming tons of videos on the fire movement, I came across a video and I can't, re I can remember what this person looks like, but I can't remember their name. And it was talking about, you know, thinking about financial independence and t thinking about happiness. And I did this exercise with my wife and I thought it was really interesting and I want to share it with all of you. A couple of years ago, I was on a walk with my wife. This was before we had our, our boy Lucas. And I was asking her, when are you happiest? And, you know, kind of caught her off guard. She's like, when am I happiest? I mean, you know, and she would, you know, respond with a couple of things. And never once did she say, you know, working, right? Like working her day job. 
And I thought that that was really interesting. You know, it's kind of obvious. I mean, not everybody loves their job. Some people do. But for her, she said, well, when we spend time together, when we're not in a rush, when we're able to go on little road trips, like little things, right? Mostly when we're together. And I started doing the exercise myself. And she asked me, well, when are you happiest? And I said kind of the same thing. Well, when we don't have the pressure of being on somebody else's schedule, you know, having to clock in, to, you know, at work or go to the next meeting or rushing to get from point A to point B. And it really opened our eyes that we're happiest when we're able to kind of control what the flow of our day looks like and being able to choose what we do with our time. And I thought that that was really, really interesting. And once we understood that that's what really brings us happiness, and once we understood that we could buy our happiness through assets, through investments, that's when this peace really, really came on us. It was like, this is actually really possible. We can achieve this. We don't have to go through the you know, the normal course of life like our parents did and their parents did, you know, retiring in their, their mid 60s. And we can choose a different path for us. And it's possible. I thought that that was really interesting and I wanted to share it with you. If you're married or if you're in a relationship and you're talking about this with your partner and you're thinking about, you know, financial independence, I'd encourage you to, to do a similar exercise. Go on a walk, go somewhere where there's not a lot of commotion, a lot of noise, and then ask your your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, whoever, and ask them, when are you happiest? And just listen. And then after they're done, you say what makes you happiest when you're happiest. And I think you'll be really surprised that it's very simple. And I think it will bring you and your partner closer together. One of the quotes that I heard from Mr. Money Mustache, this was years ago, I can't remember when or where he said it. Um, but he was talking about you know, what is financial independence and retire early? What is this whole thing? It really comes down to pursuing a life of happiness. And that pursuit of happiness is not centered around, you know, spending money, but rather pursuing things that bring you happiness and joy in life. So how do you live a life of meaning? And why is it so important to find your why? These might be questions that you're asking and it might not be so simple for everyone to kind of pinpoint what the answer is for them personally. Some people might ask this question for years and not ever find the answer. A why is like a, is like a, it's like a compass direction. It, it tells you where you're going. Um, we can live our lives by accident, which is kind of like getting in a ship and just sailing or getting in a car and just driving. You'll absolutely see some amazing things. You'll stumble an, upon some amazing experiences but you don't really have a sense of where you're going, any sort of direction. In other words, what's it all for? What the why does is it provides a path, it provides a map or a compass. So you will still have some of those amazing experiences, but now they have value and worth and they're taking you towards something else. Um, it's a journey towards something. Um, when I learned my why, um, I had this tremendous calm come over me, uh, a sense of uh, my confidence grew, um, a sense that my life had more meaning than I thought it had before, and I had now the choice, um, a new way of viewing decisions, a filter um, through which to make decisions, which now I would ask myself, does this help um, advance my why or not? Does this help me stay on the path that I'm supposed to be on, or is this going to be a random, a random uh, adventure? So the why provides focus, direction, meaning, and and, and confidence. I think this is so important because it guides us to focus on what brings us happiness and meaning. And you know, you've lived a meaningful life up until the point of you know where you're reaching fire. And if you reach fire, you really have to have that understanding of your why, because life goes on and retiring to something is so important. You don't just retire blindlessly, you have to retire to something in order to truly be happy in early retirement. Otherwise, you're gonna be in this never ending loop of trying to figure out what brings you happiness, right? And so, and also understanding maybe what brings you happiness at the beginning, you know, when you first start, you know, start down this path of fire, that might change you know, during the process of it and afterwards. And I'm kind of, I've kind of experienced that. And looking back, you know, seven years ago, what brought me happiness back then was a little bit different than today, 
But what brought me the most happiness is knowing that I have that FU money, that I have the choice to do what I want with my time. This is not something that you're probably gonna figure out overnight. This is a process. And really that exercise that I was talking about earlier, doing it either with your partner, with someone you love, someone you know or trust, or if you're alone, doing it with yourself. Going on a walk and asking yourself and looking really within yourself and asking the question, when are you happiest? Thank you so much for watching everybody. I'll see everyone in next week's video. Please subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Please sub, sub, sucker para, huh? You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. Can everyone say hi to my friend? That's crazy. I just wanted to say thanks. I'm glad you came along, partner. <laughs>